day ladies and gentlemen and welcome once more to Wafu TV. Thank you for taking your time to watch us again. Today we have something completely new and we believe you learned something from our last lesson which was on classroom management. Today we have decimals. Just to remind you that decimals will be like the continuation of fractions. We are going to have more to do as far as fractions are concerned in decimals. So today we are going to be doing the basics, what we actually need so that our operations in decimals will be very smooth. We are going to add, we are going to subtract, to multiply and to divide decimals. And for all this to be successful, you have to pay attention to get the basics that can enable us to move forward. So by the end of the lesson today, we should be able to say what a decimal is. Then the next thing is to find the place value of decimals. And lastly, you should be able to identify the number of decimal places in a number. With this said, we'll go straight into the business of the day. From what we have on the board, it says a decimal is a fraction. That's why I said decimals are closely related to fractions. A decimal is a fraction whose denominator is a power of 10. And power of 10 means it can be 10, it can be 100, it can be 1000. Take note of this. Let's look at another aspect of decimals. The next statement says numbers increase by power of 10 when we move to the left. For instance, if you have a number as 1, 2, 3, 4, if you are moving to the left, you increase by power of 10. This is our unit. And if you move from here to here, is 10 you move from here is 100 you move to the next is thousand and so forth these are all parts of 10. similarly numbers will decrease by power of 10 if we move to the right now if we come, if we come to our example if you are on thousand and you are moving to the right these numbers will be decreasing by power of 10 that is thousand from thousand you move to hundred from hundred you move to ten from ten down to unit and our focus is after this unit so when we talk about decimals we are talking of after the unit the last statement here says decimals are separated from whole numbers by a decimal point as seen on the table below so we are going to be showing what we are explaining here on the table and from there we should be able to do what find with the place value of a decimal and equally to be able to identify the number of decimal places in a number. This is our table and on this table you find the whole numbers to the left and the decimals to the right. Take note of how they are written. Here on this column we have the thousand, the hundred, the tens and the unit. Now after the unit we have the decimal point. After the decimal point we have the decimals and the first one is tenth. The second is hundredth and the third is thousandth it continues in that order so how can we represent this this will be 23 tenths the next can be written as 700 why 700 this zero becomes insignificant because there is no whole number to give it value so we take only the significant figure we are still to come to that which is seven and seven falls under hundred that's why we express it as a hundred the next c is 8,000. Here we have 8 under 1,000. So we express that as 8,000. D is, we write the whole number and it ends at 100. So we are going to express this over a 100. 34,510 hundredth. And if you are to divide this, which we are still to come to, it will give you exactly what you have here as decimals. The last one, E, is 90,654. This is how these numbers can be written. Here we have an exercise and it says write the place value of 5 in the following. Either you can draw a table and insert the number in the table or you can use an imaginary table where as you see the numbers you can fit into this table and it will be able to give you the exact position and value of this 5. So in the first one, 5 is immediately after the decimal point and after the decimal point we have 10th so here the place value of 5 here is 10th b the place value of 5 here is on the fourth column and this is the 10th so the fourth is 10,000th 
th is added to the thousandth and not the tenth. Then the next one we have here, 5 is second column. And second column after the decimal point is 100. So C is 100. The last one, D here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The fifth column after the decimal point. And the fifth column, if the fourth column is 10,000, then the fifth column should be 100,000. So these are the place values of 5 in these numbers. Now let's go to identifying the number of decimal places in decimals. How many decimal places are there in, in these numbers? Of course, to identify the number of decimal places, you simply count from the decimal point to the right. And the number of figures that you have gives you the number of decimal places. For instance, after the decimal point here in A, we have 4 and 1, and 4 and 1 gives you two figures. Therefore, the number of decimal places here will be two decimal places. You can just abbreviate it as DP. B, 1, 2, 3. So we have three decimal places. In C, you have 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four decimal places. And in D, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have six decimal places. Knowing the number of decimal places, and identifying the place value in decimals is very important because we are going to use this in our subsequent lessons. This is what we had for you today and we believed you've learned something. If this is your first time, do well to subscribe to our channel. Click the notification button so that you always have our videos. Give us a thumbs up and comment as well so that we can improve on our service. Don't miss our next lesson. We shall be doing addition of decimals. See you in our next lesson. Ciao.